Hey guys, it's me. I'm back with the Terraform adding the D575. I tried to align some scripts, try to get multi Terraforms in line, and it went all haywire. Broke, com it actually corrupted my game. I had to get rid of everything and start fresh. So it's all new fresh. I'm adding the D75 to the Terraform as you see and what I'm doing is messing with the XMLs you first have to have the index and the index has to match the XML file that is over there in the configuration that is the biggest thing right there is to get it to even get it to go into Terraform so once you do all that you got to get your machine type which is a bulldozer blade I use the NMC blade copied it and changed the name I that's the easiest way is to grab something that's similar use it copy and change the required names to get it to work the i3d parent the nose that is best bet would to be set it on open it up your i3d and giants find the blade or whatever it is and look for the displacement node or the effect node and use that that would be your best place to locate it. It automatically moves with the implement too. So that helps out. The hardest part of it all is getting the names, machine types, and all that straightened out. That's where everybody's having a problem is because there are so many conversions out there. People have been changing the conversion names and items in there. Instead of making it right, they modify and change everything to make it simple. Which it should be. If the mod names, the mod types, and everything was simple and in line and was one word inside there, it would be so much easier and wouldn't be a problem adding Terraform. You'd do it in two minutes and be done. But with all the names, they want to have three or four different names for the same item. And the only place it really matters about putting in the information is the store data. And the store data has nothing to do with the mod. So if modder, so me, if the modders would just make the name one name like D575 Blade, D575 Ripper, one or the other, don't add spaces, don't do none of that. This whole process would be simplified. Simple, simple, simple. The 575 Komatsu was not bad. It was pretty easy because it's all stays in line. Wonderful, wonderful creator. Love the way he did the mod. I wish more and more was like this, but they're not, so bear with us. The best bet is for you to learn how to do this, take a specific mod that you have, and learn to put it in yourself. It sucks because sometimes you have to load a game in and out over and over and over until you get the name right. But on that note, do not try to combine so-and-so's Terraform with so and so's Terraform over here because that is what caused my conflict. I don't know why, I don't know what, but it all led back to the Terraform. I took the new mod, I didn't even put any new mods in, that was the problem. The only thing I did was I pulled out every single one of these vehicles with Terraform, went back to do a video for you guys on a building, and that's when I couldn't buy any vehicles that's how I found out that it broke it and I mean it did it even once I got rid of all of this stuff and even tried a new game new new map I still couldn't buy anything I literally got rid of everything and it still was corrupted I had no mods and it would do it so I had to reinstall I had to delete everything and reinstall the whole game that's what has happened so trust me do it yourself and save yourself a headache have a great day, and I hope this helps you out. Take care. Hazmat out.